You can see the old barn here. Um, this was built in 1921. In 1884, a family on my dad's mom's side, the Ernst family, answered an ad in the newspaper from Geneseo, Illinois, to for for uh, Lutheran farm families to come out to California and get good farmland and help start a Lutheran church and a Lutheran school. In 1884, they made a trip out here, and that was the same year that my great-grandmother was born. When she and her husband married and uh, bought this place, they built a house and this barn and a blacksmith shop in 1921. We'll take you inside the barn and show you a piece of equipment that fits with today's gospel. In today's gospel, we hear that a, a farmer went out to sow. The actual word there in the original language is a very similar word to sowing, so it's actually a little more accurate to say a sower went out to sow. This happens to be what we call a grain drill or a cedar and uh, it's slender enough, it goes between the rows of grapes where uh, we plant barley sometimes as a cover crop. You can see down, down low there, there's blades that are kind of at an angle and those cut into the ground a little bit and the little tiny uh, opening or ditch that it leaves um, is where the seed drops. You can see the the uh, hoses there, rubber hoses, where the seed falls through. And uh, I'll take you around the back. You can see there's a, an old barn owl that uh, sits right above this. I think you can even maybe, maybe see it up there. And uh, likes to leave some things behind once in a while. Anyway, back behind the drill, you can see we haven't used it for a few months and there's a lot of spider webs and stuff there. But there you can see where the seed drops in and uh, down the hose and then down into uh, the ground between those blades. And then there's little wheels in the back that sort of sort of cover up. And I'm gonna, gonna open up here and show you how the, uh, the barley sits inside. And that is seed that will be sown. taking you now from the barn out to uh, under an old oak tree. And uh, there's a, an older piece of seeding equipment out here. This one happens to be uh, about 16 feet wide. And uh, it would have been pulled by teams of, of mules like we saw last week. And uh, you can see it's seen better days. I remember as a kid, these seed boxes, you could open them up and, and it was still in good enough repair at that time that, that mice love to live in there and have nests in there and we'd get to see those. I'm going to take you around back here and you'll be able to see it's the same idea as the more modern cedar that we had seen in the barn and where the seed box used to be above those little funnels and sprockets there. That's where the seed would fall in, and then when the, when the teams would pull forward, the drive wheels would turn a chain and turn those sprockets that would release seed directly onto the ground instead of in tubes, uh, rubber tubes like you saw them earlier. And then these, these little uh, spring steel pieces back here were like little cultivator uh, shanks or points and it would, as my dad used to say, tickle the ground uh, to cover up the seed. And uh, it's kind of neat to see some of the old stuff, the moss growing there, and uh, you can see closer the, the little funnel that the seed would fall into, all so that the sower could sow the seed and a crop might be planted. With as dark as it was in the barn earlier when I opened the, the box on the cedar, I didn't see that uh, this seed is not just plain barley, it's a, it's a shelled barley and then it's a mixture. Has some uh, mustard seeds and some other kinds of seeds in there as well. 
and uh, that's a mixture that we used as we did some uh, planting between the rows for uh, one of the uh, the companies that we uh, do some farming for so as we hear Jesus in the parable today say that a sower went out to sow what would have probably happened in that ancient day is the sower would have reached into a bag and with his hand grabbed some of that seed mixture and then just kind of broadcast it with his hand just throw it out there and uh, then uh, it was there to uh, do what it does uh, to grow into a crop where that would happen Jesus also talks today in the parable about uh, different kinds of soil. Uh, there's the roadway there where some could have fallen. There's the, uh, the, the thistles that would eventually grow up and could choke out the grain. And then, uh, then there's some, some good ground and uh, probably even some, some hard rocky places, but uh, don't see any right here in this field. But we have that, don't worry. <laughs> 